Hi, I'm Jason Madden from Mad Tunes Racing. I'm in the process of uh, putting putting together my stroker motor for my Trans Am, and I'm going to demonstrate how to install a spiral lock clip on a on a piston uh, rod assembly. Now these spiral locks, uh, the first thing you want to do uh, is spring them out, just like kind of a clock spring. You just kind of grab it and pull on it, and you got a little miniature slinky at that point. And then I like to go ahead and put a, the wrist pin inside of the piston to prevent any damage to the, to the wrist pin bore when I'm forcing this little guy down in here. I'm not blessed to have a special tool for this, so I just use my trusty Craftsman straight edge screwdriver. You get the camera where you can kind of see it. It's definitely a little challenge. There we are getting it started now. And once you get her started, you just work your way around it. And don't get in any big hurry. Don't say any cuss words. Just take your time. And it clips right in there. Looks like the back side's not all the way clipped down. And now it is because I took the wrist pin and slid it on in. And you'll want to make sure to orientate your piston and rod properly. Uh, four will go one way and four will go the other way. And uh, this particular one needs to be orientated where the, these numbers on the rod here are lined up on the same side as the forward arrow. Again, the forward arrow and my numbers are lined up. I'm going to slide this right down in here. There we are. Slide it down, down in there. And we're ready for our final spiral lock. And again, same procedure. Once you get it started, you just work your way around it. And voila, we have finished it, and hopefully our video isn't more than two or three minutes long, but it probably is. There we go. Check it and make sure that it's in properly on both sides, and you're done.